reaching out to youth is an important objective of Bishop Byrne and the Office of Youth and Young Adult Ministry. Recently, teens gathered at Pope Francis Prep for an evening of fun and faith with internationally known speaker and beatboxer, Paul J. Kim. Nick Morganelli has the story. Nearly 200 high schoolers gathered at Pope Francis Preparatory High School earlier this month for short witness talks around the theme of joy and one's personal relationship with Christ. But there was much more to this evening retreat. I'm Warming up his vocals before the event, Paul J. Kim, an international Catholic speaker, delivered truth into the lives of these young adults. Be you the way God created you. The way God created you. You are good. Your life is a gift. You are a gift. Your life is a blessing. But you got to stop navel-gazing and get out there and go be a blessing to somebody. He also made sure he got each person moving in one seat to the beat. <laughs> Kim got them laughing, applauding, and participating as he helped them explore the difference between temporary happiness and lasting joy. Influencers like social media was a hot topic. It gave Nomar Lopez and Xavier Donas something to think about. When it comes to like social media, I like how like um, mentally it can mess, really mess you up. So the, now I'm really gonna like um, think about how I use social media and stuff like that. How, how much I use it and how much I take in on a daily basis. Cause in reality, we don't need it. Like face reality and be like, all right, this is, this was really important in my life. And one of those things is God, family, among witness talks, great music, and the spiritual aspect of the evening, there was time for quite a bit of fun as well. I like the, the games where you have to put the Oreo on your face. I tried my technique, but it didn't work out though. <laughs> A game called Best Friends helps find two people with the most matching interests. These two had a lot in common. And who knows, they might just go to the next prom together. Which brings us to the next event, making a five minute paper prom dress. The night was certainly a lot of fun, but it culminated on a spiritual high. Father Jonathan Reardon, Director of Recruitment for the Diocesan Vocations Office, coordinated the worship portion of this three-hour retreat. Retreats aren't a drag. You know, like, we can come together as Catholics and have fun, but also be serious about our faith, but at the same time, like, loosen up and, and play some games and tell jokes and tell good stories, but then in the end, come together, what we realize what it's all about, the pinnacle and the high point, of course, was tonight was adoration, right, and, and, and placing it all before the Lord. Would remember that as Jesus walks past you tonight, as Father John raises up the Eucharist, Jesus is getting butterflies from looking at your face. Bishop William Byrne addressed the youth just prior to adoration. He's really here. He really loves you. He's called you to this moment specifically from before time began to tell you how much he loves you and what great plans he has for you. Father Reardon processed throughout the theater with the monstrance, everyone kneeling in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. As a whole, this experience was so like, it brought me closer to God. That was very amazing. You can feel the presence of God when he was like walking around. Witness to the joy of Jesus for Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli. So many great opportunities happening for young people to strengthen their faith here in Western Massachusetts. And another one is coming up. Steubenville East makes a return visit to Springfield July 21st to the 23rd. Hosted by Life Teen, Steubenville East will take place at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield. For more information, we have a link at iobserve.org.